Today I want to talk about how to use Visual Studio Code to make scripts for Adobe products like After Effects, Premiere, Illustrator and Photoshop. Um, we want to use this because, you know, Extend Script Toolkit CC, it's nice, it works, you have the, the IntelliSense, you have uh, debugging, but the Adobe team isn't really developing it further, they stopped the development, but now they did develop some plugins for Visual Studio Code, so that's really nice. So that's where it's headed right now. So today I want to show you how to install Visual Studio Code, create a workspace and add type definitions so you get the tooltips and everything for um, TypeScript and also how to use the debugger and how to run scripts in the Adobe products. So first of all, go to Google Chrome or go to Google and type in VS Code to go to Visual Studio Code. This is a code editor from Microsoft, just download it here, Windows, Mac, Linux, anything you want, download that and install it. Then open it up, you'll get this screen. Um, I highly recommend you make a dedicated folder with all your scripts in it, just so it's ordered and you can quickly go through them. If you, if you think, yeah, I did this one time ago in this script, you can quickly um, open it up because it's it's next to it in the folder. So you just open a folder in here. I have a scripting folder over here with all my scripts. It's really handy. And to make this an actual workspace, you, we need to file and then save workspace as, and then I'm gonna call it AE scripting because I'm gonna set it up for After Effects. Now this ha is a workspace. It has some settings over here. Um, I'm not gonna change this. Workspace is handy because you can manage your extensions more easily. You just have one button, you click it, and it loads up your whole workspace, so it's nice to work within a workspace. Plus you have some settings that you can set in the future. I'm not gonna go into that in this tutorial. Now we want the type definitions. To get the type definitions, go to the article I've written. It's in the description. And then go to also a, a link to Visual Studio Code. Uh, go to the type definitions, go to this github repository and then here clone or download and then download a zip. This is a really nice repository, thank you Pravdamil for making this, it's, it's actually really nice and it has for After Effects, Audition, Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, Premiere, all those are supported so you can all have all those types. Now when it's downloaded, open it up, you'll get this one. Um, this folder over here, now open up Visual Studio Code again, create a map or folder called types and then open this folder in the explorer and then within this folder we're gonna drag some types over from this zip file. Now I'm gonna use After Effects so go into After Effects and drag that index in there and also drag all these shared ones in here so that's that close it now we have all the types that we want so script ui javascript and then the ones for after effects um now that that's done we also want to set up so we don't actually have to have typescript files but we can just use javascript files and check the typing in here and have all the intellisense in here what we have to do then is create a new file and name it json or js config.json. In here, we're gonna just gonna type some things. Go to this one, just copy this <laughs> and then paste it in here. Um, these are the compiler options. We set it to target ES3 because that's the uh, JavaScript version. Uh, no library true and check JS so it checks our JavaScript code and now when we save this and go over here we do have an error here and this is an error because the property selected layers does not exist on item now you see that they have type checking in the JavaScript files because it checks the item type and it doesn't have the property selected layers so to make that not pop up just do instance of item so we say that this is an instant of a comp item because an active item can actually be an instant in instance of a lot of different 
or four different items or types so uh, uh, AV item, comp item, folder item, footage item so we have to specify which one it is because we want the selected layers and it's not on every item that's available if you don't want this checking if you don't want to get all these errors and stuff it is really handy and you do understand your code a lot more when you're when you're doing it like that you can put off check JS over here and it won't check your JavaScript save this uh, and it won't give errors over here but I do recommend just um, putting this on because it's really handy and it's nice uh, yeah like this also now we have these when you type app in here we have active viewer it, it says a lot about the app, all the properties and methods that this app object has so it's really nice we can go in here and write code fast with all these intelligence stuff we have now so that's for the intelligence that's for the types now up to how to send your code to um, the Adobe products you have to have an extension for that um, it's called Adobe Script Runner. Just go to this extensions, go to these extensions over here, and then go to Adobe Script Runner, and then click on install. I have already installed it, so you can only install uninstall it over here. And now that you have that installed, you can type Control Shift P, and then type Adobe. And here you have all the products that you can send your scripts to. For me, I want to send this script to After Effects, so now I sent it to After Effects, and here it is. You can use it, and you can test it. So you can edit your code over here, and then you can uh, run it again in After Effects. So that's really handy, it's really fast, it works really nice. But what if we want to use debugging? For debugging, we have another plugin. Um, it's called type, TypeScript Extend Scripts debugger it's really nice it's from the adobe team um in install it over here and then you have to set up the debugging go to the debugging screen when you install this extend script debugger then go to this gear icon click on extend script debug and then put a name for your script over here i'm just gonna do pop up um, debug i'm just gonna do this and then you need to specify the the path to the file so the workspace folder is the the main one and then it's just in this folder already so it's in this folder it's called pop-up window jsx so just do jsx save this one now what we also need to do is go to file preferences settings and then the search for debug and then debug allow breakpoints everywhere click that so you can put breakpoints everywhere now you can put breakpoints into these one so I'm just gonna put a breakpoint over here and put a breakpoint over here now we can go into here and then we need to select the target application that we want to debug in. I'm going to go for After Effects and then you click Yes to start it up. It's going to start up After Effects for us. So let's wait for After Effects. And it can't initialize target. How sad. So sometimes that uh, happens and then I'm most of the time I just restart Visual Studio Code. So just restart it. Open it up again everything's still the same and then select target application again just go to after effects click yes again and then wait this really sometimes really happens but it it doesn't happen a lot of the times so just a quick quick restart will help no I don't want this I'm just gonna create a new composition and create a small box and then click on this to test our script okay now go into debugging mode we set the breakpoints so now when we run it it's gonna run our script over here this is our script and when we go to apply look it works 
So we now see our variables over here, global and local. I see our call stack. And when we continue, we see our local variables here, the layers. It's really nice. So debugging works now. There are also a lot of other extensions for Visual Studio Code. I listed some of the ones I liked down here in the article. Take a look at those. And it's really nice. It works really fast, Visual Studio Code. Um, you have like a good overview of all your scripts. You can work with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript uh, at the same time. So it's really nice for building extensions. So I hope you're going to use this because I will use this in the future for my tutorials. Uh, see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.